Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Beyond All Reason. I am Sato Kaiva, and we are back on Red Comet. Oldie but a goodie here. We're watching a two versus two on this map. I am just going to go ahead and get right into it. I just now watched this one today, and this really has a lot of really good play. Oh, oh, yep, you see the little teleport effects there? That's a new feature of the game. <laughs> Every, up until now, everything was just sort of just popping in. But now, we have a nice little um, SFX to go with it, so. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Uh, did I? Okay, yes. It's been a little bit. Got to remember to do these. Oof. Keep the hardware cursor unscrewy. I don't know why it just doesn't it, it doesn't persist, that setting, to stop my cursor from floating. Okay, anyway, what do we got here? Core bots and arm bots on the east for glass and kernel standards. On the left, we have Goopy and Hersenal. Goopy has built what looks like core bots. Hersenal has not got a factory. Okay, he's going arm bots too, so we're bot, 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 bot. Okay. So... A little interesting thing I wanted to share, by the way. I was hoping next time I would see this. So, notice the way the core bot factory looks. If I can see, it's got input, output, there's like a place here, but then they're facing this way, the leaf of the front. Well, they can't lock to the sides. Now, look at the Armada factory for bots. It's a wide open pad on all three sides, and you can actually walk through this pad. I mean, you can path your commander, he could walk right over this to get around here. So it's not just one um, that is treated as a pathable territory. So is this in the middle here, but it's um, it's a lot more, it's harder to game it. You can walk through it, but it's much, much easier for things to get stuck there. Like if your constructor were to try and go back and build something on the side, if he sits in the middle of that factory and tries to build, he's going to clog up that factory and nothing will get built. So. If I miss something, something just blew up. I'm pretty sure it was just flea. Or tick, rather. They're called ticks now. <laughs> I like flea. Okay. A grunt and two ticks. Was three. But could be blew one up. Now he has uh, his grunts patrolling in lieu of light laser towers. Arsenal has built uh, laser towers here. It's pretty smart, though, for Goopy to just rely on a couple bots to stop the scout rush so he can focus more of his attention on the front. He's got his radar now. He's got one construction bot assisting the factory to um, build a bots at a reasonable pace. He's going to want more eventually but um, when you're choking for, for resources so early on I mean even just three solars is 450 metal. The bot lab alone is what? 620? So you just burned well through your 1,000 metal early allotment right there. So, gotta be careful. On maps like this with no wind, you have to rely on so much metal expensive things. So, Harrisonel's getting his fifth solar. Glass already has his fifth. Colonel Sanders has their fifth. See, everyone's on five. That's kind of the magic number. It, um... It's four is like the minimum. Five is uh, pretty good. It's a hundred plus your commanders, twenty-ish, twenty-five plus whatever you make from your constructors. That's a uh, pretty good. Of course, bots are a bit more energy intensive to build than vehicles are. I mean, cost for cost, a vehicle, a single vehicle will cost more energy than a bot, but it'll also cost a ton more metal. I can contrast that with a grunt, which is thirty-six metal, eight eighty energy, and. I mean, if you build a lot of grunts, you're going to be using a lot more energy than you would comparatively for metal cost. So, it's harder to use bots on these maps, too. So, okay. Oh, what do we got? We got rockets. Okay, you got one rocket here and two laser towers. See, that is the minimum you need to stop a commander rush. If, the, if it was just one, the commander would rock right up to it, disintegrate or gun that turret, take about half its health and damage, but it would kill it. So... Okay, got grunts running around the map. If I... Okay, I've turned a widget, I think. Unless Sky Lobby here I'm using... Okay, okay, here, there it is, see? 
If you look, there will be these colored circles that pop up anytime something takes a hit. And that circle, the blue portion, is a 10% damage reduction on, on all damage from that side. Everything else, that red spot, is up to 90% extra damage. That's a helpful little widget indicator to show um, where you need to shoot to re do the most damage. Okay, Glass has seen the nine grunts swarming in. Grippy is pushing for what looks like the uh, undefended part. He's going to be in a good spot here. If C Colonel Sanders doesn't catch him, oh, oh wait, he's going, he's doubling back. New knows he'll get caught. Okay, he's going to kill three pawns and one grunt and lose three, okay. And kills it in their territory, they will get the wrecks. But, hmm. they fend that off. But now Glass has no infantry. So, it doesn't have a forward factor yet. He's going to get a construction turret up though. See, he Glass is very, very good at these forward expansions and attacks. He knows how to calm walk, knows how to build these turrets up, get the uh, micromanagement with the rocket bots and the infantry. Goopy's pretty good at that too, though. But, um... Goopy's more of an all-rounder in my experience. Okay, Sanders is, um... No slouch either. Harrison all I've not seen much of. But, okay, they've got, they've got the rocket bots, which is exactly what you do. I mean... As soon as you you expect the LLT to creep to come up, and it will come, it always comes. You have the rocket bots ready to push the turrets. You it's harder to do that with plasma bots, but not impossible. You just have to be ready to repair those bots because they will get shot. They will get shot, and they might even get caught by the commander. So, okay. Oh, Goopy's hurting a bit for the energy now. Ooh, okay. Sanders, idle commander. Three LLTs. Three has gone down, and more are about to go down, because these rocket bots, he has nothing to counter that with. So he's losing his entire defense line he's made. Arsenal's pushing with their commander. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get dropping off, but uh, he's going to chew away the towers. So, ooh, Sanders looking bad here. Looking bad. How's everyone's production? I I think I see three bots there. Yeah. One turret. The little square. It's harder to make out from a distance. The little square with the um, cross in it. That's the turrets. The circles are bots. The diamonds would be vehicles. So. Glass has, looks like, three bots up there assisting their factory. He's going to get... He's setting up with the construction turrets. He has to get a mobile factory, a forward factory, rather. Jeez, okay, that's too many rocket bots at this point. I mean, you'd think, how can you have too many? Well, it's harder to, ma to manage those because they will shoot each other. They will shoot each other when you start... Oh. Okay. Oh, this just got interesting. This just got interesting. Look, they're all converging like bugs. They're all converging like bugs to this now. Okay, okay, class, get the, the rest bots in, try to get the commander wreck. They get sniped. Another one comes in, it's gonna get shot. It got shot by the rockets, even though it tried to move. Okay, the rocket bots are in here, but Goopy has a much more reliable plasma bots, which will take a lot of fire, and they will have their AOE that will hit the clustered up bots. They'll drive them off trying to shoot from the other end, but thanks to Harrison Oll's rocket bot mask, he's able to maintain a withering barrage to drive him off, too. Okay, now they have their res bots coming in. Harrison Oll's got three, four coming in. A fifth heading up. Okay, they're going to be getting this wreck. They may need to repair this bot so it doesn't die because they, they can't afford to... Oh, okay, Glass has his tanks now. It's a little early, I think, for that. Or maybe it's just right. Eight minutes? Nine minutes almost? It, okay, he doesn't even have 500 energy income coming in yet. So it's it's risky, but he was gonna, he's gonna do it with one turret. Turret two would be ideal. So, okay, Harrison is getting... Uh, he chased too far. He chased too far and, and couldn't protect his res bots that way. So, they are interrupted in the middle of, of scooping up those wrecks. He did get quite a lot of metal, though. It looks like one commander wreck has been taken. 
The other is on 1283 metal, still left out of 2,000. Okay. Last now has a Janus. This is gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, ouch. Two dead, one shot. Uh, they were wounded already, of course, but... <laughs> oh, boy. Say, okay. He's may have saved those, if, unless they don't get chased. Uh, oh, he, he's, he's gonna lose them. He's gonna lose them. Shoot. Uh, lose one. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, that was... Uh, it's still going on, really. It's a slow-motion battle to take control of the wreckage field, because even more than metal extractors, once the battle lines are drawn, wreckage fields like this are key to control. You have to have these res bots in to... Oh my gosh, that was so close. Six health left. Nine health. He's, he's recovering just a little bit at a time. He is going to scoop this up. If it doesn't... Oh, got shot. Oh my god, my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Arsenal uh, dribbling in units. Sanders... Okay, he has more than him. Goopy is, is lured glass into a uh, clash here. He's got one res bot here that may... Okay, there's more Rex piling up here now almost. Starting to. Than there are down here. It's almost not worth it. There's quite a few here. Arsenal controls it for now. Hmm. So. Oh man, this is shaping up. Goopy's got a hell of a lot of plasma though. A hell of a lot. Okay. They've, they've caught these tanks out. Okay, they're gonna shoot these things dead. Let's see, they, they are pretty good versus tanks. I mean, cost for cost. The tanks will outmatch them, but the plasbots have much higher maneuverability. And they have very comparable range and damage capability. So, they're what you want to form a shield. Okay, oh my gosh. Four resbots. Uh, he needs to have them reclaiming. He needs to have the production, though. He has two two turrets that he needs to have a forward factory to. He's not spending metal fast enough. He needs to be spending that as fast as he gets it to make this work. Because Glass is keeping pace with him easily with these tanks. In a nice open field like this. Mmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, Sanders just comes in. Sanders comes in with some infantry. Oh, Goopy's. Woo. <laughs> it's a nice little tug of war here. I can hardly tell who's going to win. Or, I mean... Okay. Resbots up here now in the front. So Glass has um, one construction turret and three construction bots pushing the um, units. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, he's pushing in for the wrecks. See, these are dying more in Glass's territory, though. He's got turrets to control. Oh, <laughs> one just dies. He's got the turrets to control, plus the tanks. He's v keeping a very, 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 um... Oh, yeah. He's keeping a very thin grip on this. But, um... Oh, yeah, you could. It would have that range, wouldn't it? Let me see. Ugh. I guess only construction bots could build these. In that little crater? Yeah, yeah it would. Sort of. They'd be able to reach because builders don't... They do not obey any um, weapon ranges relative to height. Because they can build right on top of a cliff as long as they're in range of it. If you start a construction like on a cliff and you have nano turrets at the bottom of that cliff, they'll be able to build it. So, you, that's a good trick to have with um, construction aircraft. Because the aircraft, their build power shit alone. But when you have... Um, Something to have helped them, they're very useful. Especially because you can lift in nano turrets with um, Atlas transports. Hmm, okay. I think I'm starting to see East is gonna take this one though. Let's see. Oh, oh, Arsenal's got quite a lot of infantry. Are they building him fast enough though? Okay, two nanos. Two nanos to um, Sanders is three, four. Okay, four. Like, one to build the solars, and three to build bots? Plasma bots here? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a tricky matchup. Plasma bots will die if they're surrounded, but they will own uh, the infantry if they are able to keep them at a distance. Even if they get up close, 
point blank plasma shots will kill them pretty quick. It's it's tough. It's tough. It it comes down to luck mostly. We're about to see it. Yeah. With the okay, the pawns will chew them up, but see how quickly once they get some accurate shots in, the fire they can just put out. It's it's really tough. It's really really tough. Hmm. I'm not sure what Goopy's doing with these here, though. There's no Rex anymore worth getting. He needs to be worrying about his side. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's bad. Glass has five Resbots on duty. They're resurrecting units rather than reclaiming them now. He has the energy to spare for it. He does. And, um... Okay. Yes. That costs him no metal to do. Unless they're like pre damage, then he has to push a little in. To, but uh, it helps to be able to get units back up to full strength that way. And um, like, you don't even need to spend time with the factory building them. Just time for the rest bots to do their thing. Oops. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, Harris Null's artillery, I guess, to try and fight off the turret creep. I mean, Goopy was doing okay at that, but with the, with so many of these now, the Resbots have had a chance to get the wreckage field. Ugh, he has nothing. Oh, uh -huh, no. Yeah, Harrison's not able to do much here. The artillery is good if it can land shots. You have to micro it to really do that, though. Uh, effectively. A few of them will hit. But Sanders now has an enormous amount of plasma bots here. Oh boy, he's got nothing. Poor Harrison Null has nothing left in the middle south. Nothing. There's wreckages here to be scooped up. And they will be scooped up by Sanders' bots. He's got them coming in. Okay. Oh, decapitation strike. Okay, glasses swooping on the side to hit Goopy's base is going to kill off the um, exploiters. <laughs> Sorry, they're going to do nothing against a force that big. Okay. Oh! His last commander in the game took a lot of fire from those artillery, though. That could have been bad. It got down like 25% or less. But there's just no army left. There's nothing. And East just has everything. They've been reclaiming. They've been building. They've been resurrecting. They have so many... Like, so much production both at home and on the front now that um, there's just no nothing left to stop them. And with this, Goopy's base is going to just bite the dust. And Harrison will follow immediately after. Oh, there he goes. He boom. Saw a little skull. <laughs> Unfortunate, but uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, hey, pause. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that was something. That did, okay. Remember how I talk in all these games about how important reclaim is? I mean, even the basic like tank wreck, 152 metal, and how, see how many tanks Glass was making that were just dying to blast bots, and whoever scooped them up, um, like <laughs> 170 or so to get one plasma bot, I believe. So, it really, really, really matters who gets the Rex in a game like this. It doesn't even matter if it's commanders or not, just any sufficient amount of Rex. Commanders are just, like, targets of opportunity. But whenever there's a huge amount of wreckage, everyone swarms on it. They just go right for it, and they dogpile. And that was so fun to watch with the rocket bots of Plasma. West did really good, though, climbing that early. They just could have pushed it a bit better if they had more production, more forward factory set up like Glass. Glass had the ability to replace his losses here and not get overwhelmed, combined with a bit of good micro. But, I mean, that was really touch and go for a while. Glass, it, it could have gone either way if um, Goopy had overwhelmed him with the plasma and the rockets. But, um, <laughs> eventually they pulled out on top due to just, um, superior logistics, I think. They were able to get th more wrecks, they got more army units, they got more production, which is critical. They were assisting out so many th new things up here. 
yes, they completely overwhelmed their opponents, and they seized the day. So that uh, was um, a very tied, very even game, I, th I thought. Really, really fun to watch. So I'm glad I got to show it to you guys. And I will see everyone later.